what's up my fashionistas how are you all doing i'm back in this time around as you see this short dress i just want to share how i add length to such short dresses for you know comfort elegancy decency and all those other reasons you know styling so i have some dresses don't forget to subscribe if you're new and please share this video with anybody you know and let us start with this beautiful dress so guys as you see it is a nice very tight dress but it is short and i want to add some length at least up to there there around the knees so i love its silhouette i love the way this fabric is kind of shining in that gold and black you know colors and you know shade so um this is how it looks from the back it has the zipper that's the good thing though it is small kind of of a small size but it has a zipper and it is stretching so it can fit anybody and its stretch is a strong one this fabric is really really strong it is so nice so i have this um kitenge or ankara you know fabric that i want to use because of it's this kind of gold that is in the dress it's kind of matching so i'm considering that and this is a plain dress and the other has some you know colors and patterns i think it will go with it so well so as you see it is kind of it's really strong not even kind of it's really strong um, and i have to determine what i have to cut on the kitenge fabric on the ankara so now i have to stretch out around the hips that hip measurement while stretching out the dress and know how far it goes around the waist and after i just seam rip this hemline and have to get some you know joining allowance and after i just you know consider about um less than two inches of the hip measurement of that stretching dress and that is what i'll be considering to cut to cut the part that i'm going to join onto this dress and in this case i'm just going to cut out um, a circular part kind of a circular skirt and that is what i'll be joining onto that hemline so it is what i'm going to do now so remember you measure the length the length is not too 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 much i, I want around uh, 10 inches seam allowances included and the width will be about 36 inches because i'm considering that this dress fits somebody of hips of about 40 inches or 38 inches so now I folded my fabric into four parts you know just the way we fold when we are cutting a such a circle skirt so when getting a circle skirt you just divide your circumference by 6.28 and this is what i did and whatever i got i measured it just around there to get that arc as you see there of about five inches from this pointed corner so now after that arc and that arc is now is the circumference of the hemline that we are working with so from that arc i'm going to measure uh, about nine ten inches of the length that i'm working with so that is what i'm going to be taking here as you see so it's just you know circle skirt just the way we, we cut a circle skirt and in this case it is a full circle it is a full circle it's going to come out very full but if you want a um like a half circle you just divide by 3.14 not 6.28 and those are just constants so now after here i have to add some joining allowance at this piece, circular piece that i have to add onto the dress 
so this is what i'm doing after that i just get my scissors and cut it out just like that and that is the piece that i'm going to join onto the dress it is circular you can do full circle even half circle according to your preference so this is how it looks like it is joined fully because it is full circle so this is how i'm going to join it onto this this dress right sides facing each other i'll just take it and join it all around that dress so i have to stretch it out so that it fits the circular piece that i've cut and after you know hemming this piece this is how the dress looks like on my model dress so that is it so decent and elegant so now moving on i also have this black dress it's also kind of shining but it's black shining silver kind of and this method i'll be you know uh as you see it is also kind of really really short up above the knees and i want to go up to the knees uh it it is more stretchy than the first one and i'll be considering of some hips of somebody of you know hips of 40 inches and then you know kind because it's a little bit tapered around the hem i'll be considering the circumference of about 38 36 inches so this dress is kind of you know of a medium size not too small and it really stretches as you see so now again getting my seam ripper and you know i take out that hem hemline you know to get some joining allowance uh, i'm in this in this case i'll be considering the gathering part so i will just get again and uh, the length of the 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 piece that i want to add it's about six inches because this dress is not too short like the first one so this is the piece still it is you know african fabric the kitenge fabric and i've cut it into two so in this in this method i'm just going to use the gathers so i'll just get a piece of fabric and I gather it around one is so I have two one is for the back and the other is for the front as you see I'll be gathering it till the desired you know circumference I'll gather the other one and even this one and then join them together and I'll you know join it onto the dress so that is what I did you know just simply gathering and then you add it onto the dress and now i get such a beautiful dress very elegant very decent and stylish so again moving on so in this case i have this this you know dress it's kind of a party dress it has this peplum it has no sleeves and it has this kind of an applique and in this case i want to add something that is you know uh, kind of continuing the silhouette of this dress it has that peplum so still i want kind i want to add a piece that is kind of in a circular form and because of that black applique i will consider the fabric that i join I'll consider um, a color black if you want you can consider blue but in this case I'll consider color black so this is how it looks like remember this is kind of circular so I want to add a piece that is kind of similar or related to that so I want to take the length of this peplum to consider it as i get the length of the piece that i'm going to add onto the dress so again as the way we did for the first dress it's just a circular piece so i folded twice and then uh into four parts you know i folded it twice so i'm just going to cut a circular piece 
in this black fabric it is also stretchy you know according to the dress kind of related to the dress and then this is the piece and after i'll get such a beautiful dress so in this so what i'm trying to show you is you can do gathers you can do circular pieces full circle you know you can do pleats to add uh, onto your dresses for more length so again i have this dress and this one is straight it has that opening but you can cover it up if you want if you don't you can leave and this one is really really i love its silhouette Just, you know are you seeing how it is structured you know that princess that um it gave it that nice uh kind of style and you know everything as you see and it is short but i want it longer so i love i like the way it is styled it is kind of cut into pieces and they are mixed together to form this beautiful you know garment and i have this piece it's it's blue light blue in color and this dress has these flowers that are also kind of light blue so this piece uh, will be matching with the dress so this dress is not too stretchy as the first ones that we've worked on and uh, it stretches a little bit a little bit so i'm just going to stretch it out to its farthest stretch and then determine how much i'll be needing to add onto this dress so as you see the material i'm working with is not stretchy at all and the dress stretches a little so this is a uh, gentleman material you know that fabric that is called gentleman that is how it looks like but because it's light blue this dress has some light blue and those structures and the way i'm structuring it i just add it onto the dress and i get such a beautiful dress guys so because it's not stretchy i ended up adding that small slit as you see of about four inches so that somebody can be able to move around so that's it guys that's how i add length onto dresses don't forget to like share and subscribe with so many of other fashionistas and i'll be seeing you soon don't forget to subscribe subscribe subscribe